Well, it is that time again. I want out of here. Let's explode it. Funny story. It don't break right away. All right, so Meridia. Here's something you don't want to do. Meridia without the gravity suit. Ask me how I know. Don't ask me how I know, because I told you. I tried it. We're coming this way first because there's a missile tank I want to get. And we kind of need to do it from here. First we're going to open that. We're going to save. Run. I figured I screwed that up. Save there. And that one. Nope. Look at the plants on the back, on the floor. One of them's in, there's two in the foreground, one on the left, one on the right. Stand behind that one. What's that in the background? While we're here. You guys got any ideas? Any insight? Another reason you don't want to come here without the gravity suit is the enemies here hurt. They do a ton of damage. Like the little crab guys, I think, do a hundred and something a hit without the uh, gravity suit. Just gonna sneak right in in front of him. Hooray for super missiles! We do like the super missiles, don't we? Don't we? Please say yes. Um. Can we. No, we can't do that yet. Um, what we need to do. This is another situation where they want you to have the grapple hook, because you need to grapple on those guys. We want to get up that way. Well, I don't know if you've picked up on anything from this Let's Play so far, but... Exactly follow the rules? That's not what I meant to do. There we go. That's the one. Yeah, we'll just skip all of that. One of the things that I learned from Behold My Strength uh, doing his impossible playthrough, which actually has some quote unquote real world functionality, we will make use of in this video in a single spot. I hate that guy. I swear those little dudes were enemies in Kid Icarus, which would uh, be fair because in um, one stage of Kid Icarus there were Metroids. Okay, see this? Looks like we should make that, right? Well, what do you do? Are you gonna wall jump that? Well, you could. Or, duck and jump. You'll go just a little bit higher. I think it's the difference in the hitbox of Samus's sprite between ducking and being upright is the extra height you get, I think. And if you, it's harder to do with the gravity suit in water because you move so much better. But if you 
crouch, jump, and then turn into a ball, you'll go even just a little higher. And this is really the only situation in vanilla gameplay where that comes into effect. Because it's the only jump that's just not quite high enough. Duck and jump. No problem, you'll make it. Duck, jump, morph ball. Where is he? There he is. There are a lot of things to be found here in Meridia, and most of them I really don't care about. Um, and I don't believe there's anything over here. A lot of what is in Meridia that is to be, that can be picked up, you gotta go way out of your way for, and you gotta backtrack and do, you know, you gotta do a room two or three times. I don't wanna do it. room for example it's um got these guys which are annoying as all get out because you can't kill them well you might be able to kill them with like a super missile or something maybe I don't know This is a situation where the game wants you to have the grapple beam. There's something up there if I remember right. A missile tank, maybe? Or a missile recharge room? One of the two. No, this is not the room I wanted to be in either. That must have been what was up there. The room I wanted to be in. I think you fall into this room from above. For Pete's sake. The D-pad strikes again. I think it's this way. Thanks. You guys are jerks. Have I mentioned that you're jerks? Oh no, wait a minute. I'm thinking of a different room. This was right. Come on, D-pad. There you go. This is what we need. Said I was. I was thinking I was in this room. So these are mock droids, not to be confused with Metroids, because that's a different thing. That's a little red jelly guy. Uh, mock Troids were created by Space Pirates because they liked the Metroid so much, you see. This is Botan, Botwan, something like that. He's our mini boss of this area. Let's 
it's not very hard. Just he gets faster. Did you hit him? That's not the button I wanted, sorry. So we skipped uh we skipped the mini boss going to Kraid. I don't believe there's a mini boss at all going to Fantoon. We had to deal with this mini boss, and there's another mini boss later that we will not be dealing with. I believe they want you to speed boost through all that, is the idea. Alright, fine. Those guys are obnoxious because the the way they come out of the sand there. So, yeah, space pirates. Space pirates are very interested in Metroids because they want to use them for weapons. Because that's what pirates do. Genetically modified jellyfish. GMJs. Um, and they, so they tried and they made mock droids, but I don't remember what the reasoning was why the mock droids didn't work. I think they were not resilient enough or something. So they're here, and they are only here. Oops. Spikes. Remember how much damage spikes were doing earlier? Like 60 a hit? Oh, come on. You did the animation. You did it again. There you go. Save, just in case. And I believe this is the door we want, not the missile door. Correct. These are not real spikes. You can tell because they're not moving. Uh, yeah, so... Mock droids. They're a thing. I didn't even try. Bad form. Okay, so, boss time. Question number again. Where, what was Meridia? And what was this room? Because it looks like it's got boxes floating up there. Yes, I know these guys are cute. But it looks like it's got boxes floating up there. And uh, I don't know. So this is Dragon. Dragon's got a head on his head. Dragon's got a couple of heads on his head. Something I learned, I think, from Nakatalili's playthrough. Drop a power bomb or two, but if you don't drop it too early... He won't leave. If you drop it too early, he'll leave and won't do his little spit attack. If he hits you with it, it'll slow you down and then he tries to pick you up. Timed. Come on. There. Look. Got heads on his head. There's two of them right there, and one of them up there. And I don't know if those are supposed to be baby dragons 
I don't know if they're another species of dragon. Because they look like they're hiding from the big dragon when you get in. So, I don't know. Anyway, there's the space jump. Basically negating everything that you were supposed to be able to do with the grapple claw, grapple beam. Whatever, hookshot. Now what you're supposed to do, if you don't want to do that, is you blow these turrets up, and then you let them grab you, and then you grapple beam onto the turret, and it'll hurt him pretty bad. And there's also something you can do with the x-ray visor. I don't know. I, I never get the x-ray visor. I don't... You know, that's not one I follow. You hear the little life draining noise when they grab a hold of you? But it, it takes a minute. They don't, it's not constant draining your health like hot rooms or lava or whatever. I don't, I don't exactly love the space jump in Super Metroid. I like that it's not just tap the button an infinite number of times like in Fusion. I think it was Fusion that had it like that. But I don't know. I feel like there are times, like right there, I feel like there are times I hit it right but it doesn't work. Like there. You have to be going back down a little bit to hit it to knock you back up. Like I said, those guys are pretty good about dropping super missiles. Back door to Meridia will take you out this way. like those things. If you come through the wrecked ship, you'll come in through here. Come on, spin jump, there you go. I don't know. This door does not open until you beat Dragon, and in this door is fun. There's so much fun in this room. I don't remember which Metroid it is. But I know in one of the Metroids, you can, if you jump, let's talk about this real quick. I don't know what that is. It's a pile of something and it's not fun. These are invincible space pirates. Until you get this. Which is our last beam upgrade. Uh, one of the Metroids, you could jump and hit the jump button again and you would start to spin. I don't remember which Metroid that was. And in Metroid 2, I think you could jump and hold down and you would spin jump in place, like spin jump straight up, kind of like that. But you would do it in slow motion. And when you get the screw attack, it made this really neat sound. So this pile, let's talk about the pile. Hi pile, you remember how much fun it was killing the pile before? That's how much fun it is to kill the pile now. I think it's there for a couple of reasons. To number one, just like it's a it's an opportunity to refill some of your health and ammo and all that. But it's also there, I think, to show you just how strong the plasma beam is. My guess, anyway. Um, do we want to go this this is the tube, right? Yes, this is the tube. Takes us all the way through Meridia. 
And I think this is okay. Where is it? There it is. Um... I don't believe it's this way. I think we're in the wrong spot. Yeah. Those are not the same as the dragons we saw before. I love getting a good head of steam and just a little tiny thunk outcropping. There are a couple of rooms where you can fall down some sand pits. Is it not this room? I thought it was that room. Uh, and get some goodies. This is the room. We're not doing we're not doing the fall down the sand pit goody thing. I think this is the room I want. That is not the room I want. And I don't think it's that way either. Nope, I remember where it is. I remember now. Maybe I do need to just wall jump up right here. I want up there. There. I knew I could do it. Oh no, we can't go this way because the gate. Sorry, my bad. Wasted your time. Go this way. To a room we've been to before. I told you if you could do the green gate glitch, you could get in early. That's where. Not that way, sorry. I had wanted, uh, you guys maybe remember, um, when the Simon's Quest revamped happened. Well, good old buddy MQ, Metroid Quest, has, the project he picked up after that was going to be a Zelda 2, um, remake. And I don't, given what I said about remakes earlier in this Let's Play, look, I don't love him, but, you know, he's, he's somebody who made a really good ROM hack with Final Fantasy, Eternal Crystals, if you haven't seen it. Um, it's become a big, bigger deal now, but I don't think I'm in the wrong to say that until I did it and, you know, kind of pushed for it, um, it wasn't getting a lot of attention. So, you know, I'd like to hope that I'm semi-responsible for it picking up the way it did. There's the wall I was looking for. Um, I wanted him to do a Metroid 2, but with the Super Metroid engine, basically, the map and the everything. Come on. I'm gonna save state to save time. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, but he wanted to do a Zelda 2 instead, which is fine. I like Zelda 2. Zelda 2 is a good game. Everybody sleeps on it, but... Zelda 2's problems were translation based more than anything else. It wouldn't have been so cryptic if the translation had been better. Uh, I, I maintain that. There, that's where we wanted to be. Not everybody agrees, that's fine. Um.
that's it. We're, we're done. We're done in Meridia. That's everything we needed. Uh, but I wanted him to do a Zelda 2. With, with some of the things that Castlevania 2 did, which is actually kind of... Coolio did um, Panoply of Calatea. A lot of the things that I would have liked to have seen in a Zelda 2 remake ended up in that. Like... The names of areas appearing on screen and that kind of stuff. I think that's the X-ray visor. So that other one must have been the grapple beam. Now well, let me see. We want to go that way. So I think we want the one above this. But I even thought Zelda 2 with this engine, because you got... Zelda 2 didn't really have... You know, you didn't have ammo, right? But... Ah. I have the wave beam to open that. But you can imagine Zelda 2, up there in the top right, you've got the map for, um, for dungeons or whatever. You could have a full screen map. This could be your, your link status screen. Energy would be energy. You could have one bar for energy, one bar for magic. This could be your spells almost, you know, kind of a, something like that anyway. I think I'm going the wrong way, because I think that's the Krokemeyer fight. I think. We don't want to do the Krokemeyer fight. Well, we'd get an E-Tank out of it. Should we do it? You don't have to do it. It doesn't open anything, really. But you do get an E-Tank for it. That would leave me one too short for the end of the game. We were going so fast and then we took a little hit and then our momentum just tanked. This is where we want. Yep. This is something else I tried to do in the Naka challenge, was get through here without the space jump. You got a wall jump off some of those faces. It was not my, my most brilliant shining moment. Just saying. And let's uh, stop at a save room. How about next time, Norfair?